Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of solving addition and subtraction problems. This is standard 3.4a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 17, the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got last month, the school store sold 107 t-shirts and 88 sweatshirts. How many more t-shirts were sold than sweatshirts? All right. So there's a few different ways that we can look at this. Let's draw a representation here. Now I'm not going to draw 107 t-shirts. What I'm going to do here is I am going to draw this bar, this is going to be a strip diagram, it's going to represent my t-shirts, right? So 107 t-shirts. And it's asking me to compare these two, okay? So how many more lets me know I'm going to compare. It doesn't mean that any is going to go away, right? So we're going to end up using subtraction. Sometimes we use subtraction because something went away. Sometimes we use subtraction just to compare two quantities and realize and try to figure out how much bigger is one than the other, right? So 107 is bigger than 88. I'll put my 88 right here. And we'll put my sweatshirts here. How much more bigger is it? Oh, that's my question, right? I've got this, this empty spot. I'll put a little question mark right there. So I've got a few different options, okay? So I can... Just go ahead and do subtraction if I want to. I can add up. Um, I can, you know, make it 10. I can do all kinds of things. So let me show you a few different ways that you can subtract this. Because when we do subtract this, we do have a zero. And that sometimes, you know, sometimes can be a little bit difficult. So here's my standard algorithm. Right, you're going to take 107. You're going to subtract 88 to figure out how much more the t-shirts are than the sweatshirts. Now, hopefully what we're seeing here is, look, if you take 7 and you uh, want to take away 8, you can't. So typically we would come over here to the 0, right? We would borrow. There's no 10s there. So you have to end up borrowing twice. So it's kind of confusing, okay? So this is what we do. We've got a 100 flat, right? So I'm going to take my 100. I'm going to break it up into 10 10s, right? Because my 100 flat is the same as 1010. 10. So think about this 107. Like if I wanted to build it, I would be like 100. And I would be 7 right here. Right? And I want to take away 88. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away my 100 flat and I'm going to put 10. So right? So that 100 flat is the same as 10 10. Now, I can take one of my tens, it leaves nine. I'm going to take away this one right here. And I'm going to add ten ones. So now I've got 17 ones. So there's my seven ones. I'm going to add another ten over here. I broke up my ten tens. Or my one ten. Now I've got 17 ones, right? Now I can take away 88. That's going to be a little bit easier, right? So 17 minus 8, that's a basic fact. That's going to be 9. Okay, if I take away 8, what do I have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So what do I have left? I've got 9 left right here. Then I need to take away 8 tens. So if I take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Look, I've only got... 9 minus 8 is 1. I've only got 19 left. I've got this 10 right here, right? And then I've got these 9 ones over here. So I've got a 10 and a 9. That makes 19, okay? So that works if you want to do it that way. You could also add up. You could also say 88. Okay, if I do a plus 2, that's going to get me to 90. Then you can add a plus 10 to get you to a 100. Then you could do a plus 7 to get you to a 107. You can add up 2 plus 10 plus 7. Gets you the same answer. A, 19. 